Hello everyone, this is Lunar and welcome to more Fire Emblem Heroes, the series that is not a series but I make a series out of it and welcome everybody that's watching this Robin the Delivery Boy. Today I have a brand new, exciting, Grand Hero Battle Force Base against Osran, the Nadia's hero. This time around the FTP mode. Alright, so let's go over there and, and I'm presenting first and foremost. We have the Merciful Death, Air with Lafayette Drawback, Iceberg, Filter Spare 2, Mystic Boost 3, Sparkling Boost, and Dry Defense 2. I would have guessed that is correct because you know, you know I'm not deaf. But yeah, that's true. We don't want to die. People don't want to die. Most of them. Anyway. Uh, with that, we have the Hero Chaser Cynthia with a Fire Sweep, Lance Plus, Reposition, Hit and Run, Drive Attack 2, and Defense Static 3. Whenever you read the name Cynthia, remember that freaking Rugrats uh, song about the, the doll that is supposed to be Barbie, but uh, you couldn't have Barbie, so they called that Cynthia. Anyway, uh, <laughs> It comes with the territory, I suppose. They're saying pretty obvious things today, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, with Young Song Trace Asura, we have the Book of Shadows, Sing Moon Ball, Speed Resistance Bound 3, Wings of Mars 3, Drive Speed 2, and Attack Tactic 3. You're a grown up, aren't you? Yes, I am. Glad you noticed. 27 years old. Uh, anyway, uh, with that, let's go on with One Word Legend Ike with uh, Rocknell, Reposition, Radiant Eater, Warding Breath, Vantage Tree, Drive Tetic Tree, and Attack Smoke Tree. The Black Knight. He was my father's killer and my last teacher. I'm not much for politics. I live by my principles, my sword, and my friends. Yeah, you have two lines there. You're not gonna tackle Tad, man. Sorry. You have a lot of things to do today. Osra, Medea's Hero, Inferno Difficulty here. I can do it. Um, Fire Emblem Heroes. Prepare yourself with me. <sighs> Sorry. Prepare yourself with Mercurius in my grasp. My power is unstoppable. I hate words with all our men. My tongue don't reach enough for those. Anyway, <laughs> with that, um, yeah, since I talked about, about Camilla last time, uh, there's one thing that we, are, we have in common. We like hot showers. They are fantastic even on summer. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They are fantastic even on summer. It, it, it's been like 40 degrees. It, it's like 40 degrees it's outside. Oh, so you're going to take a hot shower. Anyway. And yeah, to to your to your pretty revigorating after a work day or a lazy day, to your always good to me. Anyway, so it's hand, let's go to dance and let's move back. Uh, people on. I think she's the only one that don't have a a, a accessory on her. Pretty sure it's just her. Yeah, does not have nothing on her? Alright, let's go here, Cynthia, just strike the bow fighter, and we're going to do the same thing that we've done on the other side. You uh, won't suffer. You won't suffer. Anyway. Uh, with that, let's move on, and I am Camel Rider Stronger. Uh, pretty good show, actually. The... The protagonist is as one dimension as you can get, can get, but you know it's firm for the right of camera riders at this point. Um, then again, it was the '70s, so you can't expect much there. Heck, I'm on the '80s now on, on Super Sentai. I just started uh, Gogo Five. And they are not going anywhere further than there's a one dimension on the thing that they have on each other of every character. So you have the the leader, the coach, the co cool guy, the comic relief guy, the other guy that is there for the ride, and the girl of the group. 
<laughs> Basically, that's what you're going to see on the on those. So you have to to pay attention on that action before uh, before anything else, and don't really care about the story because there's no much of a story there. It's basically the same thing that we saw on 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 the other two sent on the previous Sentai. You now, a evil organization wants to conquer the world. They don't have no develop whatsoever, but they're still evil. Anyway, um, that that's been my experience with with Super Sentai right now. So, uh, Super Sentai Gogo Five was one of the of the Super Sentai that actually got dubbed in Brazil. Ironically, though, it was around 992 that it got released, so it was a decade over. <laughs> the series was a decade, uh, decade old, and they decided to, to, you know, to dub that. And of course, it comes with your own share of problems because uh, Google 5 uh, came with the Italian translation. Yeah, it was translation from the Italian one. So you can guess we have a lot of problems there because the problem was that when it was handling uh, on, on, when the the Google Five was being handled to Italy, they lose part of the soundtrack and the you know the 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 effect noises that they have. So what happened though? They get a thing, a a you know a a keychain. That they do noises in order to substitute the town. And also, not, not only that, and also they pick songs from Battle Fever J in order to put in place of the of the, the actual soundtrack that the, that the show should have. They have all that going for him. Anyway, so as you can see, I won't be able to kill it, so just go here with air. Air will reduce. The, the defense. I guess this is the first time I noticed the belly button of this woman. I swear, it's the first time I started noticed the, that uh, her belly part of, of, of the dress is cut and there's her belly button. That's how wide this woman is, man! Holy cow! Uh, let, uh, just hold on a second, guys. I know it sounds like a pervert who wants to see a belly button, but yeah, that's a belly button. <laughs> I mean, you can't blame me. It's kind of, it's kind of um, camouflage there, so you can see much of anything. You know, it's kind of camouflage with the trash. <laughs> and I just know her, her belly, her belly button was was showing on that. And, uh, and, and there's nothing to do with the thing that I'm talking right now, but I like to point out anyway. Um, so there are many ways to finish this one. We can do this, start chipping out, and bring Azura close, just like this. Uh, like this, uh, chip it down a little bit more. But I hear. Yeah, just leave us over there. And bring Cynthia there. The, you know, it's just the, the armor unit, so we don't have much going on here you now. Uh, go here. Boom. Take Tad, a merciful death. Keep chipping it down. It is basically the end of everything. So anyway, just move on. As you attack, what next? and now uh, the position. Let's move. Just move down to the side. Let 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 Azura have the final blow here. That doesn't really matter anyway. Yeah, you can do whatever, as long as you have Azura and, and uh, not making damage on it, it's a good for you. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching, catch you guys down, you can claim your Ostron, um, 4 stars in 2013, whatever you want. Thanks everyone for watching and bye bye.